The information provided in this podium video does not and is not intended to constitute legal advice. All information, content, and materials are for general informational purposes only. If you have specific questions, you should consult your own legal counsel. In today's video, we're going to review some best practices for creating effective text marketing campaigns. Research shows that more than 90% of text messages are opened in the first few minutes, while only 20 to 30% of emails are ever opened. When used correctly, running an SMS campaign can have a significant impact on your business. If you need help sending your first campaign, click the link provided. Before you can send your first campaign, you'll need to create a subscriber list. Subscribers are customers who have provided prior express consent, sometimes called opting in. You can give customers a chance to opt in in several different ways, such as online through Podium using web chat, payments, or reviews, or in person at your business and during checkout. Don't be afraid to try multiple options to figure out what works best for your business. You'll notice that over time, you'll gain new subscribers and others will opt out. You'll want to make it a priority to keep your list up to date. Violations of communication regulations like the TCPA can carry heavy fines. To help protect yourself legally, you must document how someone opted in, when they opted in, their personal information, and their IP address. At a minimum, the subscriber opt-in process should identify your business's name, make it clear that you'll be sending promotional messages, alert them to possible text messaging fees, and explain how to opt out of future messages. Now, let's talk about how to write engaging messages. Each message you send should identify your business and include an offer or call to action and an expiration date. Messages should also be brief. Any message with more than 160 characters will be split into multiple text messages. Avoid slang and abbreviations so anyone can understand your message. Finally, where possible, personalize messages with the subscriber's first name, a recent purchase, or any other relevant information. Next, pick the right time to send a campaign. You want to send messages during your business hours, but don't send messages before 8 a.m. or after 9 p.m. Messaging outside of business hours will frustrate subscribers and make it difficult for them to ask questions if they run into issues. Before you hit send, make sure you've considered time zones. To prevent overwhelming your subscribers, you'll only be allowed to send four messages a month to any given subscriber. 